Hello, I'm Roger Lander from Our Happy Place, a member of uh, Totem Yacht Club, and today I want to show you a clove hitch. A clove hitch is made to tie off to a railing or a station, maybe a bull rail at a dock or something. You take it over, doesn't matter what side you go on, but whatever side you go on, you're going to cross over. You go over again and go through that loop. Let me see if I can do that a little bit better there. We're going to take the line over. We bring it like this. I'm going to cross it over this. Go ahead and hold that loop down there so you can see this. Bring it over and through. I'm not going to leave it on this side though. I'm going to throw it over the railing and then pull it tight. And what happens is, as this pulls tight, they snug together and it holds it. Now, if I was going to leave it for a long time unintended, I might want to make sure that it doesn't come loose. So I'm going to snug it up, roll it around so it gets tight, there we go, and just put a loose half hitch in it, just to put a little tension on that. If for some reason I was really paranoid, I wouldn't even pull that tight, I'd just put it there so that as this rolled up, it kind of go through there. But this knot will hold pretty good. It does have some weaknesses. It doesn't take rotating around it like this. That'll undo it if you kept rotating it around. The reason I say that, this is the way I used to tie up my horses. You put the clove hitch in. They're pretty nimble with their mouths. I put this little thing in. It usually had a long piece of tail and it held them fairly good. Okay, here's an example of how I've been using a clove hitch. A little bit modified clove hitch, I guess. Um, this is a bumper. It's been hanging on the boat for over a year now. And uh, you see the lines are getting pretty nasty. A little different than a regular clove hitch. There's my regular clove hitch. Only it's pulling to the side instead of down. And instead of doing a half hitch on this line down here, I just came up and did another half hitch on the rail up above it. Now, it's holding. I got pulled as hard as I want on that, and it's not going anywhere. But yet, I can just lift this up and lower this down, and there we are again. That's a pretty good holding power. But that would be another example of how you can use a clove hitch.